Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 8, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Starting out here always at our sun, 304 angstroms, lots of plasma in the incoming and cresting surface, as well on the outgoing Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, we have no major flares to talk about, but we do have a couple CMEs that were directed today. Our sun has actually been pretty quiet as of late. Those triangulated sunspots are turning out large plasma filament across the northern hemisphere. Quick look at multi spectrum over the last 48 hours of events on the sun. Watching a couple small CMEs here from a plasma filament destabilizations. And it is visible on Alaska, that energy coming our way. Having a look at 193 angstroms, no major coronal holes to talk about. Slightly diminished in an earth facing, but then we do have a, one building in the cresting right now in between those two plasma filament destab destabilizations. Amazing imagery coming from Solar Dynamics Observatory. Looking at the solar X ray flux, it is in B range and geomagnetic activity remains low after slightly elevated to a KP34 from. The last two events that were reported here with daily events worldwide. Having a look at Alaska 3, showing that small CME eruption taking off from the sun, mostly in a northward and southward fashion. Real time solar winds were sitting at 310, but there's some missing data over the last little bit. We were expecting that to increase, but this is the CME action that we were talking about. We topped out at 47 bunches for density. And then look at the polarities. Both matching a 13 and a 10. ISWA space prediction spiral showing that most recent event heading out towards Mercury. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 30, pretty low power. but definitely a good power. Amplitude of 30, quality of 8.2, a power of 18. Let's get to earthquakes here. The past 24 hours as we've seen things increase. Yesterday reporting a 6.4 earthquake in Brazil, 6.5 being upgraded today, 621 kilometer depth. That is a very large, a deep earthquake for a very remote region on the Brazil border. As well, a 4.5 there reported Venezuela, quiet through Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, White City, New Mexico, seeing a 4.0 today, small swarm occurring there. As well, a 3.1 earthquake to report Salton Sea, California. at one kilometer depth. And normally, you know, we see some kind of small swarm through the Salton Sea area, but most of the activity, the last little bit, looking at the last seven days across USGS, most of it has been north of Salton Sea, but something else I wanted to note here, look at all the earthquakes through Oklahoma. Here's your swarm occurring at New Mexico, as well, Texas. Notable here, all the earthquakes around Yellowstone in the last seven days. There's been 30, and about 14 of them have been in the past 24 hours. So pretty active around Yellowstone right now, one even being in the lake. Largest through the region being a 2.2. South Park, Wyoming, all around the Yellowstone caldera. This is where that small swarm is occurring. Looking at about 
10 earthquakes through this region. Just something I wanted to note out. Other than that, we're seeing some regular activity. Average activity through California. 3.1 here north west of the Salton Sea. Carrying on here over to Hawaii. Reporting a 3.2 at a 33 kilometer depth today. No other earthquakes to talk about. And then Alaska and straight across the Aleutian Islands to Kamchatka. They've been seeing some increased seismicity. Nikolskoy, Rat Islands, Aleutian Islands, and Atu Station, Alaska. So definitely an active region. 4.7 here, the lonely and only earthquake to report in Japan. Pretty sizable 5.4 here. Pagan region, Northern Mariana Islands. And a sizable 5.8 here in Mamoju, Indonesia. It's a pretty rare place for an earthquake. 4.6 here. Kavang, Papua New Guinea. Pretty rare place as well. 4.9 here in Norsup, Vanuatu. And 4.4 here in Labasa, Fiji. 536 kilometer depth though. Started off the day here with 5.2 in Babushkin, Russia. 5.1 reported in Thang, India, as well as 4.4 through the region today. 4.5 there, Germ, Afghanistan, and a 4.2 in Kangtung, Myanmar. And that is the last 24 hours for earthquakes, largest being the 6.5 and deepest with 621 kilometer depth. Quick browse at the last seven days for earthquakes across the world. Take a quick moment here to thank you all for tuning in. Much needed a couple days off. I do run this channel on my own. I've got nobody else helping me. So just so you know, I do need to take some days off. As it does get pretty hectic. But much love to you all and I want to thank you for watching. I appreciate all of the love and support to the channel. And of course, the desire to keep up to date with our world. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well space weather. Having a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, looking at the most recent satellite imagery and as well the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Some intense extreme weather still rolling through central United States. And that's going to be heading up into Ontario. Looking at Reventador and Ecuador. Semisnopochnoi, the United States. Popocatetl, Mexico. Get all these tornado warnings, Wilmington, Indiana, Kentucky, Sangay and Ecuador, Krakatoa, Indonesia, Suez and Ajima in Japan, Sabankaya in Peru, Dokono in Indonesia. Fuego in Guatemala. That's all just in the last eight hours, guys. Era in Japan. Luotolo, Indonesia, Semeru, Indonesia, Nevada, Steruas, Colombia, and as well, Ibu in Indonesia. So that's about 13 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 52 that are active and erupting across the planet. Stay tuned for the next volcanic activity report. Looking at tornado warnings now in Louisville, Kentucky, as well, Indianapolis, Indiana. So heads up and thoughts and prayers to all affected by possible tornado droppings. Increased moisture right across North America with that large rain train heading across the Pacific Ocean. Atmospheric river stretching right from Taiwan to the Washington coastline. And all of that moisture is now flooding in. Looking at some pretty gray days ahead of you in Western Australia and cool across Eastern Australia. Stormy conditions brewing through the Congo and Central Africa. As well, some pretty large storm conditions developing for the United Kingdom. And as well, parts of Central Europe as you've got a big low heading in there. Some very sizable lows though, still going across the Northern Hemisphere. Having a quick look at windy.com over the next little bit. Showing that massive system heading into parts of Sweden and Finland in the long range. 
And then across the Pacific, we got the same thing. And huge systems developing, winding up and heading up into the Alaskan Peninsula. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and Daily Events Worldwide. Widespread showers, possible thunderstorms, and torrential downpours through Ontario tonight. Drying out and then spotty showers throughout the next few days. But a big system here bringing a drenching right up the coastline to the Atlantic provinces, right up into Newfoundland and Quebec. And then watch Friday to Saturday, another system to roar across central United States and up the eastern seaboard. Track back for the west coast. As you can see, a large low pressure system in, in the Pacific. Lots of moisture falling across BC, spotty through Alberta. Things are going to be drying out for you over the next few days as most of this moisture heads southward towards Montana and for some mesocyclone action across the United States. Overlooking South America, no major weather systems coming to you over the next five days. Daily evaporation rains in the north and pretty dry in the south, except for next week, next Thursday, Friday, you could have some pretty stormy conditions. Argentina border with Brazil. Overlooking Europe, low pressure center north of Italy right now. And over the next few days, that's going to sweep eastward into Turkey. And a couple large systems in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of the United Kingdom, Sweden, Finland, Norway. Watch for waves of moisture to come through. Again, overlooking Africa, not much to talk about except for daily evaporation rains through central regions and as well coastal rains, South Africa. Watch for a big system to affect the tip of South Africa in the long range. You could have an extreme weather event coming your way in the long range, so stay tuned to daily events worldwide. No major cyclones or hurricanes to talk about. A couple areas of interest, though, grinding up into western parts of India for the long range. And as well up into Myanmar, parts of Nepal, heavy rains. And watch for a system to graze Japan in the long range forecast. But other than that, through this region, monsoon rains are still developing. Overlooking Australia over the next few days. Big system south of you coming from the Antarctic. Going to bring in some cool temperatures and as well some more rain. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.